Okay, so uh, today we are going to revisit the shortest path problem using the dynamic programming. Okay, we in our first lecture we implemented uh, we solved this problem using dynamic programming and it was the graph same graph I have taken but the vertices are uh, name of the vertices I have changed I have made v1, v2, v3, v4 and the edges are uh, given randomly. Okay. So in reality when we talk about very large graph the graph are not given in a topological sorted manner. Okay. Whatever we will be given a directed acyclic graph and that can be checked in BFS algorithm but graph are generally given in the form of adjacency matrix. What is adjacency matrix? Adjacency matrix is these, these are the vertex v1, v2, v3, v4. I have taken a matrix of v1, v2, v3, v4, v6 and in the column also we have taken the same thing. Now v1 has edges to v2 and v4 so I will write v1 to v2 is 1. I have put at the edge weight and v1 to v4 is 2 and rest of the where there is no edge that is 0. This is weighted adjacency matrix. Okay. So this matrix will be given. I have not completed. You can complete for example if I write want to do for v4 I have to check what are the edges going for v4. v4 to v5 there is a uh, edge and v4 to v2. So v4 to v1 there is no edge, v4 to v2 there is edge with weight 4, v4 to uh, we are going to create the adjacency matrix. Now how to solve this problem? Okay. So I, I have to actually write a recursion. Like my previous problem I have to uh, write a recursion. So uh, I am giving the name, same name what I was given in the last lecture, shortest path SP. Now should I need to compute the uh, sub problem value for every vertex, if I need to compute shortest path for let us say vertex VI. Okay. But in the memory table, let us see this is the memory table. What I used to do, I used to do the bottom of computation means starting from the let us say shortest path at v1 equal to 0. This is the stopping condition starting from the stopping condition I used to compute all the value. But in reality for a very large graph we generally did not do in this way. For understanding in the classroom, we uh, write in this way inside the array, but this is not an array. We can implement this efficiently using a hash table. How? First, uh, this hash table will be created for every vertice. Okay. There is a hash function, let us say h is the hash function. So, what I am going to do? I am going to take the hash of arbitrary vertex vi. It will give us some value at that position. Let us say this is the this position we have to insert. At that position, we will insert the shortest path function, value of shortest path function and from which option we got the shortest path. So this pair will be inserted. Okay. I am coming to this in more detail. So how we, we written the recursion in our uh, last lecture. I have written shortest path at vi and we written in this way. We have to take minimum among all the vertices, let us say vi is this v3, uh, i equal to 3. So, what I will do from how many vertices v3 uh, can be reached, or let us say this v4, okay, i equal to 4. So, 
I have to create uh, compute from how many vertices this can be reached and we will create sub problem for that. So if we consider this as a matrix M i j M is the matrix name then the shortest path value will be shortest path of let us say this is B k I do not know from which vertex it is coming but we can compute this from this adjacency matrix. In this adjacency matrix let us say this B i is 4 ok. So, in the column of 4 I have to check what are the non-zero values. So, non-zero values is here from V1 ok. So, this value will be taken and we have to create a sub problem for SP V1. I am writing generalized notation just like the program uh, SP VK plus the value of the last path last vertex ok last edge before so this value 2 will be added. So, where we can found this 2, 2 can be found here ok. What is the index inside this matrix? This is going to be M of if I say ij say row number 1 and column number 4 ok. So, it is going to be m of so this is i i will be the column number and row number is k ok this value will be added m of k i and we have to take this for all k okay, where for all k where M K I not equal to 0. If it is a 0, there is no edge uh, going from K to uh, I. Okay. So, we have to consider only those values where there is an edge from K to I. So, this is our recursion function now. I am not going to write this uh, for loop and uh, to compute this table. I am going to use a hash function. So, what I will do first, first step will be insert, let us say this is function. Uh, let us write this program separately. Let us say insert sp v1 equal to 0 at h of v1 ok. This will be the first step of the algorithm. I am writing algorithm here. You can directly write the code in this way insert sp v1 equal to 0. So, this is stopping condition I will I am inserting the first element what was given in the stopping condition. Now, now here is the function function name is sp I have to check this function for arbitrary value let us say vi ok I may be 1 2 3 4 whatever we, we can call I have to compute the shortest path value. So, first step I am going to check inside this function whether h of v i ok. So, I have to look up this thing look up h of v i if true return Okay. If true return SPVI along with the value PI, it will give us the parent information. I will explain this. So, first step inside the function is I will check 
whether the value is already computed in the hash table or not. If it is already computed, we will do nothing. We are just returning the value. If it is not already computed, then there is the question. So what we will do? If it is not already computed, we will compute it. How we will compute it? We will compute in this way. SPVI equal to same recursion minimum of k sp bk plus matrix m ai for all k for all k where mki mki not equal to 0 okay so this is the function recursive function it will be directly implemented so um, what i have to do when this is computed i have to immediately insert insert spvi at h of vi okay i will insert this into the hash table okay. spvi at h of vi and i have to insert the parent information also for which k this giving the as the minimum value okay SPVI and and PI at each of VI. Now, what is this PI? PI equal to arg mean. Do you know this notation argmin k? Argmin k is is basically it's a function on uh, it's call on input. Okay, for which k some function is giving the maximum value or minimum value. I have written argmin, so it's mean for for what k this function this equation is giving minimum value that is stored in pi. Okay, so PI is basically argument K for this function and we have to insert the SPVI which is the value and the parent information. From what option we got this because it will be required to uh, retrace the path. Okay. So this, this pair I am going to insert into the hash table. So if it was already computed, it is fine, we will return directly. If it was not computed, we will call this function and when this function will compute this, we will insert this into the hash table. Now what happened? If it was not already computed, we are going to call this recursion. It will call some sub problem. Now in this sub problem, same thing will be checked, whether it is already computed or not. Once it is already computed, that is not going to be computed twice because we have the hash table and every time we are going for a lookup into the hash table. So once it is computed, it will never be recomputed. Okay. So it will be computed only one. And this recursion, this small recursion will compute the shortest path for any arbitrary node VI. Okay. If you, now, if you want to compute the shortest path for any vertex, for the, uh, instead of vi, if you want to uh, compute for vk or vp or v7, v23, you just call this function v23. If it is already computed in the hash table, it will be returned in constant time. If it is not already com computed, it will compute and it will compute this sub problem which is only required in this function 
previously what i used to do uh, in my last lecture we used to do we was computing all the uh, possible values all the sub problem maybe those many sub problems are not required at all in our program okay now this is on the basis of requirement if we required to compute some sub problem that will be computed and stored in the hash table once it is computed it will be never computed again and this program will give you the output this is most efficient program for very large graph okay and smallest program also okay. it has the same complexity as uh, the linear time so what will be the complexity let's discuss complexity here what will be the complexity how many value we are going to store inside this hash table those many time this function will be computed so how many time maximum for every vertex one so it cannot be more than all the vertex okay so there will be order of b number of insert and in every insert how many computation is required we are checking all possible edges in the adjacency matrix so there may be at most b minus 1 vertex which is adjacent to b okay so this is going to be filled with b minus 1 okay so i can write this is order of b square same as the previous but the, this implementation is more efficient Okay, and more realistic so this technique dynamic programming boosted with hashing is really most beautiful technique and it can be used for other recursion also where we are not computing any max or min that is not a uh, dynamic program that is a standard recursion there also we can use this technique so go for a hash table not just an array that's all and you can write the program using recursion directly no need to uh, write so many for loops and remember the thing just compute the recursion use it along with hash table you will uh, this implementation is uh, ips more easier so that's all